You have an organization called Seva, where you go to India and you give workshops to women, and also you have workshops in the U.S. Can you please tell me about Seva and what is the mission of Seva and what is the type of work that you do? In Seva, what we do is we educate the women of their rights, of their of what to do in cases where you have domestic abuse or you come across with a situation which you don't understand the U.S. or the Indian law. How do you deal with such a situation? So we go back and do workshops on different subjects, mm -hmm. such as how to get an insurance permit, how to get a driving, a driving uh, card. Um, I've, in fact, got some language access cards for women mm -hmm. where if they don't understand the language, they can carry it in their pocket okay. and they can give it to anybody that I don't understand the language. I need a free attorney. Okay. How can I get that? Right. So it's day to day workshops which help you in how to handle your life, how to get a medical, how to how to go if you have a domestic violence, how mm -hmm. to go and file for a restraining order, okay. how to file for a VAWA petition, a Violence yes. Against Women's exactly. Act petition. Yes. So we filed several Violence Against Women's petition okay. where they've been granted green cards okay. and the women can now work and look after their children. children. What are some of the problems that uh, women encounter? I mean, is dowry still a big problem for women coming into the U.S.? You had already mentioned, you know, children being, you know, either held in the U.S. or in India. But is dowry still a major problem? And what are some of the other major problems that women encounter that you see in your day-to-day -day, you know, cases? Dowry is certainly a problem. Now, dowry is n at this time not taken in the way it used to be taken in the earlier days. Okay. Now, it's more an indirect demand. Okay. The indirect demand is, for example, you're marrying a person overseas okay. who is a SAP consultant. Okay. He might require a woman to do an oracle course in India income. So he will make a demand that you do an oracle course. Oh, really? It will cost you five lakhs of rupees in India. Uh -huh. But I, I want you, before you get married to me, go do that oracle course. Oh, really? Then he knows once that woman comes to America, she will be oracle specialized. Yeah. She's going to earn $200,000. Mm -hmm. So he might like a woman whose money, because he in the United States, it's community property. Sure. So once you come here, yeah. she, her money, and then he controls the money once she comes here. Okay. It's very easily that you come here, but the money is so controlled, okay. even though it's in a joint account, mm -hmm. he will not let her spend it. Okay. And there's a lot of stress in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Another one is if you're marrying a person overseas, if he's a software engineer or he's a doctor, the dowry goes per to that. It's almost like a slate they're handling on their plate mm -hmm. that I'm an NRI. I can take you overseas. And this is this in return is what I want. Okay. So that dowry is pretty, pretty direct. Mm -hmm. And some of them are indirect, such as I need this um, course to be done or I need, um, you know, a ticket to United States okay. or I need you to uh, explain how in India I could get a house. There okay. have been so many demands like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have gotten numerous awards throughout your career, uh, starting with your work in tennis, your, you know, um, your strength in tennis, and also the Hind Ratan Award, the Outstanding Service Award by Bob Wasserman in the city of Fremont. And you've done a lot of work with the Muslim community recently with the conflict that they've faced. Can you talk about that, um, some of these awards that you've received and were for what you've received them for? Well, my um, awards is always, um, you know, comes your way when uh, you've, you, you, really, um, you really do the work. You don't look for awards. Sure. But when I was doing community service work in, in the Bay Area, I did a numerous workshops in this area. Okay. So that's how the city had uh, given me the Fremont, uh, the community uh, award. Okay. And um, in New York, it was Long Island Marriott, yes. where we were doing workshops for Muslims to understand the culture of United States, okay. how to settle, how to become part of the uh, part of the culture, mm -hmm. how to work when the Muslim get married three times, mm -hmm. how to handle the different okay. marriages over here. Okay. So it's for that that uh, the award was given in Long Island Marriott. Yeah. And recently, um, I wrote a book. Yes. Which, which which took me to India mm -hmm. for Pravasi Divas. Yes. And at Pravasi Divas, I was uh, honored for another outstanding award because I'd written a book in this area. Yeah. This book is to educate the women all over India yeah. so that they don't fall into the trap of fraudulent marriages. Yeah. If you want to see this book, it's if you would like to get a copy of this book, you can contact Anupesha Varya. It's called The Immigrant's Dream. Yeah, this book on the immigrant dream is more about the stories, uh, which the the real life cases of women, which I'd handled in the past, and they ha they're anonymous without the name, so that you can get what they went through 
And this uh, uh, program was done in India so that we could guide the women before they come not to fall into the trap of fraudulent marriages. But besides that, what it primarily has is the laws which protect you from some such marriages. So first of all, it has the Government of India scheme, which they have for, edu for fighting such unjust cases. So it des describes the whole scheme, how you can take advantage of that scheme, what kind of paperwork to fill up. That's what it talks about. And then it talks about the VAWA Act, the Violence Against Women's Act, how to file forms, how to do a 360, I-360 filing. That's what the VAWA is. It also talks about the new visas for non-immigrant people to whom VAWA does not apply, which is the U visa. So it talks about how people can take advantage of that visa and how they can legally stay and work in the United States. It also contains a language access card where if you do not have an attorney or a, or a recourse to an attorney, you can show that card and say, this is how I need help to, to address my case or my personal problem. So basically, and it also has rights about domestic violence, where to go in terms of that, which shelter to go to, how to approach the issue, all the new regulations which are there in the United States and the Government of India scheme, all of them are in this book. And this book is available on my website at www.anuattorney.com. It's A-N-U-A-T-T-O-R-N-E-Y.com. So you can always get a copy of this book. The Minister of Overseas Indians, Mr. Vaila Reddy, is coming to Washington, D.C., and you'll soon be headed out to meet him. Are you excited about that trip? Well, this is the first time I'm going to meet all the officials in Washington, D.C., yes. um, so I really look forward to that. And uh, I'm carrying my notebook along so mm -hmm. I can take some notes. Great. And I will also be visiting New York yes. so that I could find out more about overseas women mm -hmm. and what they are doing and how we can conduct meetings and yes. carry the work forward, the good work of the government forward. Yeah. And you had mentioned earlier that there are five consulates uh, in the U.S. There's two in uh, the works right now. What are the current consulates right now, and do you know where the other two are in works? The, there are two more coming up in Atlanta and Seattle, okay. but we already have a New York, a Chicago, San Francisco, okay. and uh, I think there's one more in New York, yes. Okay. So we have four consulates already. Right. So let me just sum up the benefits of um, your association with the Councils of India and also the Embassy of India is that you're already providing these legal services. Now is just that, and you're providing these free legal services to, to women all across the Bay Area. And now the government of India is working with you, so you're able, your job becomes a lot easier, becomes more streamlined, and very much connected to the government of India. How do you think, how do you expect this to grow? Or, um, I know it's very green right now, it just, it just ha started. What are your hopes for this project? Well, I, um I'm a legal professional, so I've been doing this in the past. But now I feel that this is a great platform mm -hmm. to help the Indian women, to help the Indian community, because particularly my work focuses for the overseas Indian community. Yes. So it will uh, enable me to reach out yes. to different states in the country to be able to work and understand their problems. Okay. And once I understand those problems, I'll be able to help the government in formulating policies and programs which mm -hmm. they like. But of course, uh, my duty is to advise them, but mm -hmm. uh, it, the policies and decisions are all taken by the government. Sure. We congratulate you on this appointment, and we're looking forward to your relationship with the Embassy of India and the Consulate of India, and for providing legal information and guidance to the consulate, and helping Indians throughout the world, of course, overseas Indians also as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome.